previously from Mirrorbrite. Now we're going to turn our attention to the 3D printed portions of the costume, which will mainly be the helmet. It's done! Hi, welcome back to our channel. This is the fourth video in our series of me making Master Chief. In this video, I'm gonna go over the strapping, how I actually put the armor on and how it attaches to my body. I'm also going to talk a little bit about some of the electronics that are inside. There's not much, it's mostly just LED lights. At the end, we'll have a full reveal of the costume. Uh, we just got back from Dragon Con, which was a great time. Everyone was super safe there. And I got to debut the costume there, right there on the Marriott Atrium. And I was super psyched to do so, and it turned out great. Before we dive in, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications and also give us a like. We greatly appreciate it. We're going to go down the list of how I put the costume on. Before we get to the armor pieces, I want to show off the bodysuit that we're using for this. We sewed it ourselves at the Yaya Harm pattern and check it out. First thing I put on are the thigh pieces, and they are held on my body using a nylon belt. I just fa fashioned this belt, you know, out of your nylon strapping, using these clasps, put together around my waist, and then we have more clasps that hold the thigh pieces up. Since, since gravity is always wanting to pull them down, this belt helps keep. Them. The next piece that I put on are the leg pieces. These guys, they go straight on my leg and they're really held up by the boots underneath them. I thought about putting some upholstery foam inside of them. I probably should do that, so assume that in the future there's upholstery foam inside of them. But I did find that they stay up pretty well on the boots, that they sit right on top of them. I did add two of these Velcro pieces on the inside here, and when we get to the boots, you'll be able to see that they're matching pieces. And that holds the leg so it doesn't really move much this way. And that seemed to work. Next are the boots, and as I showed in a previous video, they're actually boot covers. You can slide on and off if you want them to. And hopefully I'll get some better boots for this later. But for now, this is what I got, and it works great. Here you can see the little antennae. Here you can see the other two Velcro that keep the leg piece from moving around too much. And these boots, just you just put them on like normal boots. So with the legs done, the next piece I put on is the cod piece or the booty piece or the jock strap or whatever you want to call that piece. And this piece, I decided to get a little creative of how to attach it. I wanted it to be a lot like a, a normal belt. And so I split it in half, kind of like this, and made it into a belt. So you have clasps on each side, 
go in, and then this piece kind of slides over it so it's hidden. Like that. And that can slide out of the way. These are just elastic bands that are on here. Yeah. See, it slides out of the way if you want. And it makes it so it's it's more maneuverable, more fluid on my body. And it still looks like you know, the actual model, but I'm very proud of how this actually turned out. I should do more of a write-up on it and post it on the fork and forms. So that, that just attaches. Like a belt. And it goes over the other nylon belts that hold up the bike. Next up are the bicep pieces, these guys, and they are attached to each other using this elastic band, and I can actually demonstrate this one easily. It goes on over the back like this, and they hold each other up. You still move around, and they, they don't fall down on my arms, and you just do that. Very easy. I like this way of attaching them. I've seen other people do it this way as well, so it seems to work. Next are these arm pieces. They just go on like that. This is another one I should have put upholstery foam in, and I might in the future. Uh, but they stay on fine. They don't move around. I guess my wrists are big enough. Once both arm pieces are on, then I put on chest piece. Um, this is another one I had to get a little creative on because I didn't like how it was attaching to my body at one time. I got really depressed one night, which was not much fun. You slide your head in here. Then on the side, I decided to clasp them together using more buckles. Like this. And then I put, got another thin piece of foam and put um, more Velcro on it and it attaches to kind of cover it up like this. You kind of, see, yeah, you can see it. So, this one isn't as clean as the belt, but that's the way I figured out how it would look okay. I am going to redo this chest piece soon, and when I redo this, I am going to figure out a better way to do this chest piece. So look out for that. Next are the gloves, and this 3D printed piece is put on these cheap Harbor Freight work gloves um, by just regular old snaps. Glue them on the back, glue them on the glove. And so again, if I want to use to get some better gloves or do something different, just snaps on. I can exchange it out to a different glove. And I also didn't want to completely glue it on to the glove because then you have to deal with that when it becomes unglued. So now they just snap on. Last but certainly not least is the helmet. And once that's on, I am the Master Chief. And I look like this.
I am so happy how this whole costume came together and how it looks. It is the costume I've always wanted to make and I made it and it looks fantastic and I won't shut up about it. One more thing I do want to talk about in this video are the LED lights. Biceps, the thighs, and the chest piece all have lights in them. I decided to use a really simple circuit to power each one of those. Each one has two to four lights um, in a simple circuit attached to a coin battery and a switch. And I'll put the wiring diagram for the circuit in the description below. These are just simple white LEDs that are controlled by the switch, powered by this coin battery, so I didn't have to solder in any resistors. I also scraped the LEDs with some sandpaper to diffuse them a lot more. So before I put on each piece, like for this example, the bots up here, I click on the light switch inside, click, turns the light on, and you can see it on the outside. And these are the original batteries that I've been using this entire time, like for all of Dragon Con, I haven't had to replace them. And each one is only powering, like I said, two to four LEDs. And so it, it, it sips power, it, it's pretty cost effective. I think it looks great. And so that's it for this video. It was pretty short, just showing how I actually put on the Master Chief and what it looks like. Um, there's one more video we're gonna do in this series, which will be building the assault rifle from scratch, from foam, using my own blueprints. So that video will be coming up shortly. In the meantime, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, subscribe to all of our social media, links will be down below, and see you next time.